Now, before we start this uh, video, uh, remember to drop it a thumbs up because that's very, very important. Now, I don't know if we have reached the like goal from our last video, but if we did, we're going to push the boundaries yet again to 1,200 likes. So make sure to like this video right now so we can get 1,200 likes. This will motivate me to probably do more daily uploads because I mean, yeah, like I said before, it's kind of tough to do that. If the last video did not reach the like goal, then like the video yet again so also remember to subscribe to my channel because we're on the road to 50k right now so i'm trying to reach 50k by the end of the year so if you guys can manage that it will be my dream goal and i'll be very very happy with what you did before you go mad in the comments telling me oh you did you did this wrong or you don't know what this is and blah 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 uh, and before you hit the dislike button just just uh, just let me know this is my honest opinion on these weapons this is just basically my side of view this is not a uh, a true answer to all these weapons this is just what i think of them you're free to type your own uh, uh tier list in the comments you're free to do that that's pretty much it and i hope you all enjoy this video Hello lads, it's Ami Benny back again with another video. In today's video, I will be doing another tier list. Uh, but this time, I will not be covering Genkai's. No, no, no. I will be covering the ninja tools in this game. Uh, except for the, the, the throwballs and the consumables. I don't, I'm not going to cover those. But I'm, co I'm going to cover the major uh, weapons and such. Just, just the weapons, yeah. Like I said in the last video, this video is probably very controversial. Because this is all my honest opinion. Uh, I'm not sure how everybody works uh, with the, the weapons or the combos with each weapon i'm not sure how that works what my what i think of them that's how we're going to rate them what i think of them so i had tried the majority of weapons uh, so i know a little bit about everything but i'm not sure about the full combo potential they have so yeah just let me know in the comments uh, if i'm if i'm mistaken on something and such just let me know in the comments i'll be i would love to read that this time i'm not basing it off of the weapon alone i'm gonna base it off combo potential as well with the weapons so it'll be a more uh, wider, uh, I don't know, ranking, I guess, I guess, I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, I think you know what I mean. Uh, with that out of the way, let us uh, begin, shall we? So let me just uh, switch uh, the scenery real quick. Yeah, there we go. This is the tier list right now. We have it ranked as, oh, I forgot to mute the volume. Hold up. We have ranked it as S plus at the top, S, then A, B, C, D, skipped over E, and then went to F, and then we added something new, which is, I don't know, basically i don't know what these things does or what the, how good they are so like if i feel unsafe about something i'll just put them on i don't know but uh, i'll probably I'll, I'll avoid doing that. i'll avoid putting anything here but we'll see what happens so we'll begin with the first thing which is the kunai here the regular kunai weapon now this is a every man's starter weapon this is a pretty basic basic weapon uh and the movie got let me just show you in game the movie got is basically just you press q and you just dash forward and we're basically a plunge towards, towards, I don't know, somewhere. Now the cooldown on this is a very, very short, which is pretty good. But I don't think it deals a lot of damage. So yeah, it's not that, it's not that great. So the kunai, uh, out of the, it, the common potential is not that great because it deal, doesn't need that much damage. I mean, you can basically mix it in M1 combos, but that's it. So I will practically just put it in F. It's pretty trash, not gonna lie. But it's a good starter weapon, but other than that, it's pretty trash. Next up we have is the katana. The katana, basically M1 combo if you press Q. It's basically the same as the kunai, but just better damage, I guess. And it, it has a wind up as well, which is kind of odd. It's pretty much it's, it's pretty much the same as uh, the kunai. So I would put this on an F tier as well. And next up we have is the Senju Rajin right here. Now the Senju Rajin is is basically the same as the Gaiden Kusanagi. You just teleport to people. So you just press Q. Bam, and you teleport. Oh, you teleport to multiple people. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Deals decent damage, as you saw. 17k, almost 20k. The cooldown is rather medium-ish. Not short, but medium kind of cornish cooldown. Although the range of this thing is very, very, very low. So you have to be very close to use this thing. I would put this on. This actually deals something. It's a teleport move, but it's pretty close range. I'm debating on either D or C. Uh, it's not a C tier, There's, but definitely the other weapons are better. So just put it on C for now. RD, I mean. Next up is the White Fang Tanto. Oh, but it's not that good because if you press Q, you deal this big, the big aerial, not aerial, like, but you do this big, uh, I don't know what's called, a ranged attack, so to say. The thing is, it's so easy to miss this because if you're running and press Q, you're just hitting in front of the character. You're not hitting where you're aiming at. So that's a big problem. You have to stop running and then look at them, then you move and then continue running. So, in conclusion, this is pretty much the same tier as the Senju Raja, I'm afraid. Next up is the Kunai Blade. I'm not really sure how this works. Let me test it out. Press Q. 
Oh, yes, it's the whip. It's basically the whip. You make them stuck for a little while. But that, that barely lasts anything, so it's kind of trash, actually, when I think about it. I would rate this one an F tier as well. This is kind of trash. There's not nothing you can do with it. You, you, you bind them, sure. You deal like 10k damage, which is not good. Even the Kuna and Katana deal around the same as much. They can move before you cast a Jutsu, so what's the point? Next up is the Omoi Blade. Oh yeah, it launches a big wind attack, so if you press Q, this big, big attack. The range is pretty far, but it's very easy to dodge. If you know when he's gonna use it, you just have to jump in the air. I would, uh, I would rank this one a, I don't know, man, C tier. I mean, it's quite, it's pretty much the same as these things, so I would rate this a C tier, maybe. Yeah, C tier. I mean, D tier, I mean. What am I saying, C? Next up is the Shippuden Kusanagi. A lot, a lot of people use actually this in combos. So you just you do M1 combo at the top of it, you end it, and then you do this, chasing like that, continue with the combo because they're stuck, and then. I mean, yeah, it works. It works. It works. It definitely works. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I would probably rate this a B tier actually because. I mean, it doesn't deal much damage, but it's very, very good for combo extensions and yeah, basically just extending the combo. So you can do massive damage afterwards. So yeah, it's a B tier for me. Next up we got is the Mifune Sword. So let's go to, there we go, Q. Oh, that move. Yeah, a lot of people have been using this Arena X lately. I've seen a few few people using this. A pretty good move. I'm not sure how you could, I guess it's a combo finisher. Let me test this out. Ba, 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 and then use this. I mean, it can also be a combo extender. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is okay. I haven't seen a lot of people use this, but I will probably make this a C tier because the, the, the potential combo we got. Okay, next up is the dual bladed sight. This thing right here. So this thing is actually pretty good for being a, such a common weapon. You just be close to somebody, press Q, you throw your Q nice at them, and you deal uh, close to well, how much was it? That was 24k damage. Just petty damage on them. I mean, that works. Now that does work. I'll probably put this at a uh, a D tier maybe as well. Since it's actually pretty good, not that trash. I would, I would, depends on my build. I would probably use this. Next up is the, what's this? Two bladed scythe? Is that what it's called? Yeah, two bladed scythe. So this thing is just a slam down basically. You press Q and you slam down. This doesn't do much damage, I'm pretty sure. And this, I don't know, it looks, it's kind of trash in my opinion. I don't really would like to use this. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't combo extend with this. It's just a combo finisher. Probably rate this a F tier actually. It's kind of trash, not gonna lie. Next up is the stone bust. No, this is not the stone bust, is it? No, it's a savage blade. Press Q. Oh, it's this thing. You stand in place and you just use the move. This is not really good because a lot of people are on the move constantly. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm not feeling this too well, so I'll probably rate this at D. Next up is this, uh, what's it called? The uh, Glagarian blade. There we go. You just press Q and you deal decent damage. I guess this damage uh, can proc multiple times on players, not on logs, unfortunately. And this is a very good uh, weapon to kill Jins. I've heard this is a, not a number one weapon to kill Jins, but it's close to being number one. Oh yeah, but sometimes you can miss like that, so yeah. It's not that great with, when that happens. Say we rate this at a C tier because of the, the, the good possibilities it got. It can do a lot of Jin. And it, this is a perfect weapon for Jin hunting as well. So that just moves up from D tier to C tier because of that. Oh, next up is Colossus. Ah, it then. Ah, it then. Let's see what it does. So, so if you press Q, you just deal these slashes. I don't know how much damage that is. Probably like 15 or 20k ish. I mean, it's good. It's a good combo extender. But uh, they're like, they're definitely better options than this. You just left click, left click, left click, left click. Do this, and then. Con yeah, so it's a combo finisher and extender, basically. So actually, it's a C tier. Not gonna lie. It's a C tier. It doesn't compare to. Or maybe it does. Ooh, now we are come we are coming to a dilemma. Actually, I think it's a B tier when I think about it. Yeah, because this is so fast. Next up is the triple bladed sight or he dance weapon. Uh, not a lot of people use this weapon, not at all. But it's the, the, it's very good actually, pretty pretty good. Basically, you do a full combo, you launch them back, tell, go backwards, and then you drag them in or drag yourself in. I mean, and you continue to combo. So this is a... Oh, the cooldown! Whoa, the cooldown is short. It does so much damage as well. Wow, okay, I did not know that. Yeah, so I would definitely rate this at a maybe... Oh, I want to say A tier, actually. Because uh, I'm thinking of mad, mad combos I can deal with this. Just like, this is a definitely... You can restart a whole combo with this thing right here. 
which is pretty good actually. And next up is the Grass Kusanagi. Now, I don't have this weapon, so I can't really showcase what it does, but uh, I've seen people use it uh, actually. And this is a very devastating weapon. It's pr practically the same as the, the Claws, only dealing much more damage and it's way faster. So I would probably put this in eight, or automatically in eight here because of that. Next up is the Cleaver Sword. I don't know. It deals a lot of damage, yes. Actually, no, it, it didn't deal a lot of damage. I mean, maybe on players. Yeah, players will definitely deal a lot of damage. But on logs, nah. The bad, bad thing is the cooldown, bro. Look at that cooldown. That's so huge. So, yeah, probably be putting it at a C tier because of the cooldown. It would be good. It would be probably an A tier if the cooldown wasn't that big, but it's C tier for me. Next up is the Executioner Blade. Now, the Executioner Blade is pretty much the same as the Shippuden Kusanagi, only longer, I think. M1, 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 rescue, pa, 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 pa. There we go. Then continue the combo. Yeah, so it's practically the same as the guy, the Shippuden Kusanagi, but just better. So that's an automatic A tier. I don't think it, it maybe deals the same amount of damage, but I think this deals extra damage. Um, not 100%, but I think it does. Next up is the Kiba Blades right here. Pretty, pretty good weapon. I use this a lot, but mostly for four mode and gin hunting. Rescue. And then a, like a barrage of uh, thunder. Now it deals like 17k there, but the thing is, it can proc multiple times on the player, so you can do like 30k or even 40k damage if you're lucky. So yeah, this is a pretty good weapon. I'm, I'm kind of being biased there, but I will actually uh, actually rate this on an A tier. Next up is the Hiramakari. Hiramakari, the twin blades. It's basically just a slam down. But it deals a lot of damage and it's, the AoE is pretty huge. This is a basic combo finisher. So if you've done a, like a gruesome combo to them, ba 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 ba. Oh, I don't have the cooldown. Wait lead, wait lead. There we go. Ba 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 ba. Then two nice and then cha. Uh, a very solid one. So uh, it'll be a B tier for me because the range and the damage on it. Next up is the helm. And I don't know the name. Kabutovari. There we go. Kabutovari. The helm uh, splitter. Uh, whatever it's called. Uh, uh, this I don't use this quite a lot. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't remember what it does. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's that move. Nah, no, that that move is kind of trash. It's a uh, it's a combo finisher, definitely. You can't extend the combos because when you use this move, you throw them up in the air. They're out of your combo and just out of your reach. I would probably rate this one a. I want to put it at a D tier. Yeah, actually a D tier. It's actually a D tier. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of, I'm sorry, I'm real sorry, but I, th I think it's a D tier. Next up is Shibuki, the Shibuki, the explosive weapon here. I've been using this in PvP a lot. Basically what it does, you just you send explosions to where you're looking at. And it goes further, further beyond. So you can, first you can hit them and then you just, they, like the knockback hits them backwards into the same explosion. So they get knocked backwards and backwards and backwards. So they that will deal maybe like 80k damage if you're lucky, it will deal 80k damage. But as that is if you're lucky, and I'm saying if you're very lucky, uh, that has happened once, I remember, I've been using this, but uh, regularly you will be dealing like 30k or 40k damage, probably. Because of that, this move is probably an S tier. Next up is the Nuribari. Now the Nuribari, I haven't used this a lot, but I know a lot of people use this for mad mad combos. Like uh, example, I could just pop this lava move and uh, just drag people with me, press Q, ah, uh, there, there we go. Yeah, the range is okay. The range has been nerfed. They have been that, that that's been definitely nerfed. Damn. Okay. But yeah, you can drag people into you. you. You can drag as many people as you want if you're close enough. Are we really rating this one? I don't know, man. I would say B tier. It's not as good as these weapons. I would be choosing. I would definitely be choosing these weapons over Nuibari. That's for sure. Next one is a Samahare. Now, uh, <laughs> this is used a lot in arena X mode. So yeah, if you don't know, you press Q. Send the blood mist out. Now this deals a lot of damage actually. When you think about it, it deals pretty, yeah. It deals a lot of damage, but not like a lot, a lot. Uh, but the thing is, they don't use it for damage. They use it to confuse the enemies and just make them stuck overall. Because if you're in this, you're kind of stuck. You can't really move anywhere. But you can't really use any moves while you're in this as well. But now I can. But uh, yeah, if you, if you block it, it's very easy to block this thing. If you're in it, just block and then dash backwards. So it's not that good as people think it is. I wouldn't say it's that good. Oh, I would probably be rating this as a solid. Uh, I would. Oh, I don't. I want to say C tier, but 
but nah, it's actually a beater. Next up is the Gaiden Kusanagi version 1. I've been using this a lot. I've been using mad combos with this one. Pop Rasengan and then use Gaiden Kusanagi, teleport them, and then do the Rasengan on them. Basically what the Gaiden Kusanagi does, you teleport the player and you deal very very little damage with this one. Like 40 or 50k. Apparently you can stack to multiple people, I didn't know that. Yeah, I hit everybody else. Oh, okay. Alright then, so that's an automatic S tier. Not gonna lie, because... Uh, Yep, I'm probably gonna use this again. I haven't used this in a long while, but I'll probably do that. Next up is the Stonebuster. This is a pretty trash weapon, I must say. Look at this. I don't even know how much damage that deals. Probably 20k. I'm, I'm guessing 20k. But uh, let me see if you can combo extend with this one. Ba, 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 and then... Yeah, you can. You can combo extend with that one. So, yeah, it's not useless. But uh, it's not that good either. So I'll probably put it a D tier. Next up is the Goodbye. Oh, um, no, uh, for being a very rare weapon like this, it's not that good in my opinion. I mean, when you press Q, you do this wind attack, and look how much damage that is, yeah? But that, that's people who are standing still. This build will, like, it will launch you into the air. That's what it does. So it will only deal, like, uh, almost 25k damage regularly. But if you if you actually mix it up, if you're, if you're, if you're a big brain, if you're big brain, and actually mix it up a little bit, you can pop this or war wall here then use this move and they're stuck in here taking in all the extra damage so that might work yeah it's not a useless weapon i mean never has been but uh probably not an s tier i'll probably if if you use it correctly it'll probably be an s tier but at the moment i'll i think in a tier okay, so next up is these weapons the, the these are the moon weapons i think yeah no i don't know i don't remember the name of it but this is the moon weapon and these down here are sun weapons I don't know how to get these things. These are owner weapons only, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I'm just gonna put them on, I don't know. Next up is the Shi Sui Tanto. I don't have this move, but uh, I've seen YouTube videos of it. So basically, it's basically the same as the Senju Rajin. You teleport to a, per a person, but I think the range is pretty, pretty far and you deal more damage. So um, since I don't know it fully, I'm just gonna put it on C tier. Giant Folding Fan. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this thing, not that great, but uh, I guess it's okay for starter weapons. You just send a big ass tornado in front of you and deal 16 k damage. Not that great. Not that great at all. But I guess you could extend the combos with this one, but nah, this would not be my weapon of choice. So I'll probably put this in F tier, actually. It's kind of trash. Next up is the uh, Chakra Knives, or uh, Chakra Kunai, I mean. Uh, so this is pretty good. A lot of people use this in Arena X. You basically just look at somebody, teleport them, and then you can continue the combo, or start the combo. That's prob probably what I mean. This can be a C tier. Because of that. Next up is oh this thing, uh, the Raj no, yeah the Rajin Kuna, I'm pretty sure that was called. So this is a very OP weapon. I use this a lot myself. So uh, let me just put my regular moves. I use this uh, Resin Shuriken Rush. First I throw it, but then I use this move, and then I deal like close to 80 or 70k damage with that with that combo right there. That alone combo right there. This is basically my the weapon I use right now in Arena X. This is what I use right now. I like this a lot. If you didn't notice, basically what it does, you teleport to where it hits. But it, you don't teleport on objects, just on players. So actually, this would be an S tier because of the mad combo potentials and the mad, mad damage you can deal. Next up is the Sword of Thunder. This thing was, this was my first uh, cool weapon I got. Press Q. Get this mad uh, thunderstorm. Anyways, this is a combo finisher. So press that, 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 that. There we go. Move. I mean, it also could be a combo extender. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, a lot of people sleep on this uh, thing. It might, I mean, it's pretty hard to hit. Uh, not hard, but it's kind of hard to hit people who are moving. Or, But that's why you have to make them in a the combo. So I, I, I want to say S tier, but it's not. It's probably an A tier. Next up is the Acrobat style. Oh, this is just annoying as hell. I hate this so much, but uh, a lot of people use it. It's the meta right now. So basically what it does is, let me just combo extend. There we go, there we go. And the combo, and then teleport. This constantly teleports your player. Yeah, you can't really combo extend with this one. This is a combo finisher. This, so then you pop, I think it was for Shuriken. Let me test. Yeah, it was for Shuriken. There we go. Pretty simple. Simple combo, but very lethal as well. Yeah, that's my reason I don't like Acrobat style, but I would say this is an S tier. This is probably an S plus for now. I'm going to rework the list at the end of the video, so just watch until that. But, uh, I'll probably be it. Next up is... I don't remember what this blade is called. Oh, the Hashirama blade, of course, of course, of course. Hey, this is the one of the main weapons I use in Arena X as well. Uh, I don't know why, I just like using it. It's so smooth. So basically what it does is you just throw a big 
as Aero Slash. It deals 32k damage, not a lot, but uh, it can hit multiple people. And it's a very fast cast. I use this just to do petty damage, just extra damage uh, in the background. Like, oh, we both charging chakra? Okay, let's do that. And I'll just use this and continue charging. So that's basically what it does. It's basically an extra kunai, but just dealing more damage. Uh, so it's probably a B tier, I would say. Uh, next up is... What is this again? Oh yeah, it's a Senbon uh, Blade. That's right. Now, I have no idea what this does. Wait, okay, well, aren't these the extra kunai? So you press Q. Yeah, it is the extra kunai. Huh. Alright then. Oh, the cooldown of this thing is so short. It only deals 2k damage, bro. This is just petty damage at its max. <laughs> this is so bad. What is this, bro? Nah, 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 nah. It's automatically F tier. Hands down. Next up is the Gaiden Kusanagi version 2. Now, I don't have this yet. I haven't really been... I don't have the motivation to grind for this thing, but... Uh, this is automatically S+. Because this is basically the same as this blade, or this weapon, the Raijin Kunai. It's basically the same as that, but just deals damage, and you can use it on objects as well. So you can teleport around the map if you want to. So this is an automatically S+. Plus. And then we had the Chakra Rod uh, weapon. I don't have this either. But, uh, wait, hang on. I, don't have to, I haven't even seen the moves of it. Ah, I then. So, the Chakra Rod uh, rods, basically just uh, the ability makes you stuck in place for a short amount of time. Uh, and you can throw this as well. So, you throw it, and then if you hit them, you know, they make, they're make they stuck in place, I guess. And you can just, I don't know, use some combos with this one. I guess this is good, but I am not really sure. I want to put it on, I don't know, but... Uh, Kind of, that's kind of rude of me, so I'll probably put this on a... Oh, I have not seen anybody use this in uh, Arena X. Not once seen anybody use this, so... I would say B tier, but as well, I don't want to say B tier. I want to say C tier, actually. I'm, I'm signing for C. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's a C tier for me. Alright, so these are... This is the current list so far. This might not be it. This might be just be me being completely wrong. And my opinion is just not not it so yeah this might be completely wrong but i might rearrange some stuff like say for example i'll probably put this as an oh i want to put it as s plus but th th this is definitely better than this one so i can't this is not an s plus uh, this is probably an s i want to move this up to an s uh this to uh, no, no, no 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 i can't do that this can be an s if you're good if you're good with it this actually let's just put it an s yeah let's put it put that as an s actually yeah, this thing, the the white the white tank tanto F tier, I would say F tier. I feel pretty satisfied with this list. I feel, no, yeah, I feel pretty satisfied. Actually, let's put the Nuibari up to A because I'm, yeah, I, I, I remember a combo somebody used on me, which is just so lethal. So yeah, let's put this on A for now. Yeah, I think I'm pretty satisfied with this list so far. If you have any disagreements with me, you're free to dislike. Uh, but if you are a person that respects if you're a person that still dislikes my opinion, but respects it, then please type in the comments what you would, uh, what your tier list would be. That would be highly appreciated, and I would love to see what your opinion are on these kind of weapons. Maybe that would change my mind on some of these weapons. Who knows? Maybe you want me to choose them, who knows? So yeah, that's, that's it then for my tier list. Uh, maybe you agree with it, maybe not. But if you like this video, of course, drop that thumbs up. That would be highly appreciated. We're trying to get to 1,200 likes on this video because uh, yeah we're trying to do that all right also remember to subscribe to this video because we're on the route to 50k subscribers right now as you guys know so just hit that subscribe button right now plop and yeah you'll be you'll be happy you made that choice okay you'll be pretty happy i guess i hope and then type in the comments if you have any suggestions of what video should do next or if you have and if you're your own tier list you want to create do that i'll see you all in a later video goodbye